geometrical meaning of the zeros of a polynomial. We know that a real number k is a zero of the polynomial p of x if p of k is equal to zero. Now, we will see the geometrical meaning of the zeros of a polynomial. First, take a linear polynomial px plus q where p is not equal to zero. We know that the graph of y is equal to px plus q is a straight line. We also know that the zero of px plus q is minus q upon p. The zero of the polynomial px plus q is the x-coordinate of the point where the graph of y is equal to px plus q intersects the x-axis. Therefore, the linear polynomial has exactly one zero, namely the x-coordinate of the point where the graph intersects the x-axis. As it can intersect the x-axis at one point only, therefore linear polynomial has one zero only. Next, consider the quadratic polynomials. Its degree is 2. Look at its graph. You will see that it intersects the x-axis at two points. That is why a quadratic polynomial has two zeros. Value of the zeros is the x-coordinates of the points where the graph intersects the x-axis. Finally, consider the cubic polynomials. Its degree is 3. Look at its graph. You will see that it intersects the x-axis at three points. That is why cubic polynomial has three zeros. Value of the zeros is the x-coordinates of the points where the graph intersects the x-axis. In general, given a polynomial P of x of degree n, the graph of y equal to p of x intersects the x-axis at most n points. Therefore, a polynomial p of x of degree n has at most n zeros.